And according to Governor Cooper, the vaccine supply is still somewhat limited. That's why he wants to open up group four to those with the highest risk medical conditions and people living in congregate settings. But like with the first three vaccine groups, is there any way to enforce those guidelines? CBS 17's Amy Cutler live tonight trying to get those answers for us. Amy. Yeah, Angela, the state could require a doctor's note or a work ID, but so far they haven't. And moving forward, the governor today said they wouldn't. That's because he says the focus remains getting shots in arms. We're going to rely on people's good judgment. That Governor Roy Cooper's response when asked how enforcement would work as we move into group four. There's no written proof that's required of this. Those with chronic health conditions or in congregate living facilities like prisons or shelters will go first. With the COVID-19 vaccine still in high demand, how will providers know if someone isn't telling the truth? They likely won't because the state doesn't require people to show IDs. I'm sure there are people that take advantage of the system. We do this on an honor system to ensure that we don't deter anybody from getting vaccinated. Over at Hayes Barton Pharmacy in Raleigh, Brent Talley explained their process. We get an ID so we know who it is and can make sure of that, but we, we don't know, you know, what aspect of group three or now group four, you know, what qualifies them to be in there. Do you ever feel like you're giving vaccines to somebody who might not be eligible? According to the way we're doing it, no. I also checked in with people getting vaccinated. Did they ask to see any kind of work ID as part of the process? No, they didn't. I signed up through my work, my government email, so I guess that was well enough. Yeah, those were people I spoke with outside the Wake County Health Department this evening after they had just gotten vaccinated, vaccinated, I should say. Providers I spoke with say looking forward, they are looking forward to the chance or the time, rather, when supply will actually meet demand. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17.